A packed courtroom. The juvenile convicted of shooting another student in the cafeteria of Mattoon High School was sentenced to confinement and juvenile detention until his 21st birthday. This case is closed, but State's Attorney Brian Bauer says this case was difficult not only on the community, but on himself. As a prosecutor, as a citizen, this has been an incredibly difficult case. It is uh, difficult because you have to look at all sides trying to maximize the justice that you can get. If the juvenile doesn't complete his sentence on good terms, he'll serve another 25 years. Bauer says some cases have no real winner or loser, and we must do our best to find the right answer to difficult questions. You've got a 14-year-old boy that has shot a student in a high school. I don't think justice can ever be done in that tragic situation. Justice can't be done to the victim, to the students in that school. Justice can't be done to that 14-year-old. Mattoon Police Chief Jason Taylor said in court that after interviewing the juvenile, he determined the boy has deep mental issues. Bauer says mental health services are a problem with our juvenile system since the state budget impasse. There is available some services but to, uh, by most of us, our observation, not adequate services by way of med mental health treatment and things of that nature, but it's the best the state can do based upon budgetary constraints. Whether or not the mental health services are adequate will be determined when the juvenile is released, either on his 21st birthday or up to 25 years after that. Since the shooting, the school district has started Green and Gold Day in September as a way to celebrate school pride and participate in community service. The teacher who stepped in to stop the shooting, Angela McQueen, has been honored for her heroic efforts by U.S. Congressman John Shimkus and the Illinois Education Association. The student who was shot has since recovered.